Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about um, blushes that like I don't use or do use and I just forgot about them. Sorry, this is my contouring blush. I always get makeup on my outfits. Thumbs up if you have that problem. Um, but I'm, I'm good. Um, but I was just dealing with a uh, blush that I love but that seemed to um, just have some dirt on it or something and this is the color of it. It's a MAC blush and I love it but I just I wasn't really reaching for it because I forgot I had it and that dirt on it made it kind of impossible to use but now that I believe the dirt is off it is a really pretty pink so excited to start using it more and excited that it's it's this color it's a really pretty pink but I had to uh but I had to um wipe the dirt out of it because it was like unusable and it just wasn't as pigmented or as beautiful so I uh and you know scratching it Probably is not the best, but I, I had to do something to get that dirt off of it. So, um, yeah. So let's just get started. So the blushes that I'm going to get rid of, I either just don't reach for, or I don't like, or just they're just too. Uh, this would be a good bronzing shade, for me, but. Um, or just, I just don't use them as much, or they're old, or they don't look as good, or I just don't use them, or whatever. So, um, the first one I am going to say bye-bye to, um, is this Physician's Formula. Um, this has got... <sighs> A lot of great use out of it. It's so pretty, pigmented, but it's just kind of old and I've had it for a long time. You know, I've, I've had it. Where did I get this? I love the way it feels, I love the way it looks, but it's just time to take it back because I don't use it as much and, um, I got a new physician's formula. I'm just gonna toss it. I got a little garbage right here to toss things. Um, I got this new physician's formula blush. This is the Happy Heart Booster Glow in Mood Boosting Blush Natural, and it's really pretty and it's really cute packaging. Got little hearts on it and little pink packaging and. The brush is this like rainbow, um, or kind of like a red and pink, and it's just really cute. And you know, I, I got this last night, so this is new, it's not leaving my um, drawer anytime soon. Um, the second one I'm getting rid of is uh, one of the next natural palettes. Which one do you think it is? Hmm. Well, I have to say it's this one. Because I just find myself, I the, the blush shade and the contour shade are a little bit deeper in color. So it's a little bit more on the bright side now because myself tanning, it might be a good thing to keep it, but I just don't find myself reaching for it if I want like a brighter blush or something, I'll uh, reach for something else. Um, I just, I don't use it. It's not the best. I find myself using this more. Um, this has got a great blush shade, even with my tanning self. So, you know, it's just kind of what you make of it. But I'm saying goodbye to that because I don't use it and it's just not, um, yeah. Um, the third one I'm saying goodbye to, um, I 
Maybe you should take a bite of this one, yeah. Um, this one I'm not gonna say goodbye to because I like it too much. It, it definitely gets gives me um, a glowy look that's pretty and bright, and I love this. But the third one I'm gonna say goodbye to, and I hate doing it because it's a little bit more expensive. Is a Sony Kashuk um, Grand Bazaar Exotic Crystal Illuminating Mousse Powder. Um. I just don't use it like I thought I would. Um, you know, it's kind of sad to say goodbye to it, but I have another highlighter that I like that I just kind of pulled out. So I'm going to say goodbye to this and just toss it. This I'm keeping now. Um, there's a few I'm keeping. Then there's just not a couple I'm not keeping. Um, and this one is from Hard Candy. I think this is, I got this in a set. You know, like the, the, oh my gosh, I'm spinning out. Um, it's pretty, it, but I, I never use it, ever. Like, it's like something that just kind of sits in my drawer and I'm pretty sure it's time to say goodbye to it. I'm not gonna miss it. If I don't use it, how am I gonna miss it? You know, everyone's like, well, you're going to miss it. I'm like, well, I never used the thing, so how can I miss it if I'm never using it? So, just one of those things that um, I have to say bye-bye to. Um, I haven't used this in a while. I don't know if I should say goodbye to it quite yet. I want to though, but I don't think I will. Um, oh, this is really sad for me because I like this one a lot, but it's just, it's just kind of a little too pink for me. This is the powder blush, um, the, the Tea Rose powder blush. Ultra Silky Soft Powder Blush that delivers the perfect amount of color and easily blended the cheeks. I'm, I keep using this because I love the, that it has a flower. I was attracted to it. It's Milani. You know, everyone's like, Milani's great. And I love Milani. There's nothing wrong with Milani. I just don't feel like I'm getting the world's best use out of this. Um, as you can see, it's hardly used, and I have other blushes that are more expensive. If I want to repurchase this at all in the future, I can do that. But there's a lot of other blushes that I have in my collection that are more expensive than this. So, bye-bye. Um, I'm keeping this. This is a kind of a bronzy highlighter. This is the... Beauty powder from MAC and it's in the Pearl Sunshine. It's the beauty powder. And you just put it like across your cheeks to like kind of highlight, bronze up your face, kind of like mixed with the blushes um, that I'm keeping. I'm keeping the Splendor, oh, Spellbinder and Prism, uh, and the beauty powder from MAC. Um, I need like another one. Um, yeah, so. Um, and then this is, this is kind of sad, but not really because I just feel like, I don't know, maybe that one, maybe I should stick this around to maybe that one. This is a blush palette from e.l.f. It's got four, um, blushes in it. And, oh, by the way, I figured out how to wear this one. It's beautiful. It's like a beautiful orangey, pinky um, blush. So, I really like that. Keeping the Coralista one by Benefit. I'm keeping that. Um, um, 
this chin maps will do me. Not my favorite. I'm, I'm saying goodbye to it because I no longer need it or use it or want it. Um, I, I hate to do this, but maybe I can get rid of this one. Just look. Oh, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. I'm gonna give this Milani this Milani one because this is kind of like a um, a highlighter and kind of a bronzy look in one. Um, it's because I have a more bronzy, so this would be a great one to wear. So I'm gonna keep hold on to this one. And then this one I just bought yesterday is this Wet n Wild one. I'm excited to try this out. It's such a pretty pink. I had to buy it. Um. Okay. Now. Oh, I'm gonna say goodbye to this. Um, the reason why I picked it up is I do love this. I'm, I'm not, I'm, you know, it's cheap, but I have the, this guy right here. And I feel like I only need one. And I, I only picked this up because it was a cheaper alternative and I was just going to see if it, you know, worked like it, but it's just not my favorite. I don't find myself reaching for it. Like... I want to. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think we could have a lot. Oh, and this Master Glaze I love because it's a little of one. It's a nice looking one on my cheeks. Um, I had the compact, but I don't know where that is, so it could be somewhere. Goodness gracious, who knows? Yeah. All right, now let's move on to concealer. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because. I have a few concealers that, here's my brow pencil, I was looking for that, um, of course I find it after I do my brows and not my favorite, but, oh well, um, I have quite a few concealers that I used and that I like, they're not my favorite, I just feel like it's time, you know, there's just, Quite a few I need to just read out of my collection. Sorry about the digging. I do have a few concealers that I would like to see if I do. Um, okay. Um, I just got this, so I'm not going to say goodbye to it. goodbye to these two concealers and the reason why is because this one's pretty thick and I don't reach for it it's not as practical so I'm saying goodbye. before I get sentimental <laughs> I'm weird I really like this naked skin one by Urban Decay it's really good um and then I really like the fit one I believe that this is a dupe for this one and because i'm tan i bought this one in a darker color but i believe that these are dupes for each other so if you're in the market for a good concealer and you don't want to spend high end get the maybelline fit me one um so yeah i'm keeping those and i haven't used this one yet so i'm keeping that one but i'm saying goodbye to those two because i just don't use them so yeah that's my video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, questions about where I got the products, or maybe you can, um, you know, maybe you like those products and then, or something, or, you know, any questions, comments. Yeah, uh, nice ones, please. Only nice ones. So yeah, um, just, 
let me know if you want a video. Um, and tomorrow I will be doing my uh, foundations, my lipsticks, and my mascaras. Uh, yeah. So I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye.